What did you do? Because <laughs> this is not what we do. What did you do in high school when a classmate right, should ask you for an answer to a question during an exam and the teacher wasn't looking? No, sir, I'm even the one asking for the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would tell him. You know? oh, screaming. If you could change one thing about the Nigerian music industry, what would you change and why? Probably gatekeeping. There's a whole lot of gatekeeping mm, in our industry. How so? There's a lot of people, you know, sitting on certain opportunities or certain you know certain, certain offices that make it harder for younger artists to get to where they're meant to be mm. so in this industry it's not really about talent anymore yeah it's yeah. more about who you know and yeah, who you get so it's something i'd really love to change you know Welcome to Claire's Deck. Hi. Hi. It's a new episode. How are you feeling? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm getting into the podcast mode now because I get to be a lot chiller rather than my usual, hi, you're welcome to my deck, because you are welcome to my deck. But anyways, just in case it's your first time tuning in ever, where have you been? It's so nice to meet you. I'm Claire. I like to spell it with a K and this is a my deck. So you know how I do with hypothetical questions? It's pretty random, but that's, that's what I love right and it gives me some other form of insight in a person's behavior or a decision making process or just how the person really can be or is more than i can find on any search engine that human um, tech has to offer to me but anyway today i'm hanging with um somebody quite quite special he's very talented right i believe in his sound and that is why he's here and i cannot wait for you to meet him he he has a very very interesting name that we're gonna get into and it is so different from his outlook so basically i'm gonna give it to him before you, to, to like show you what he looks like right so his name is crime right but he looks like a lawyer <laughs> so it's like right right give it up for crime see his suit is straighter than some people's sexuality <laughs> facts <laughs> like what you look so nice it's so nice to meet you how are you how you, doing? you look nice yourself. Just... Can I say, I'm born in everywhere. It's my heat. <laughs> <laughs> so, usually I just ask like, a couple question, I'm going over it. So, yeah. let's get right into it. You know, my show used to be like a TV show, but now it's a podcast, and I'm like loving it because we get to just straight up rather than like breaking it into breaks or whatever. But, anyways, yeah. anyways, anyways, I digress. First of all, tell me the story behind your name, Crime. Have you ever stolen you something before? No, actually not. But it's a name I've had since high school, so. Mm -hmm. I okay. Based off what? Who was the first person that called you crime? You don't remember? I called myself that, okay. but it kind of stuck with you know my friends and all yeah. of that because I really was a troublesome kid. Oh yeah, school, you were like a so. lawbreaker, or whatever. Yeah. No rule breaker. Sorry, like the backbenching boys. Yeah, more like that. You know, so. The ones that are drumming in class and they're like number one on noisemakers list. Yeah, at the point they would attribute every crime that happened in school to me, so yeah, it kind of I was screaming, kind of stuck in like that. Oh my god! So were you like freestyling during classes and just pissing everybody off? I'm not really freestyling. I was, I was a troublemaker. I was, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a lot calmer now. Uh, so okay, okay, okay. But what, what led you to? Because you know the name crime came when you were not doing music. I guess, or at that time, had no, you, I was already you were, doing music. Yes. So, when did you discover that you could do music at first? It was probably 2010, 11-ish. Oh. I started to, you know, write my own songs. Okay. You know, and inspiration came actually from my older siblings. My sister would write music. Mm. My brother too would write music, you know. So mm. I just kind of sort of, you know, picked up on that and yeah. started to write my own. And then I showed them like, hey, see my own yeah, song. What you know? think? So that's how I really started to write music. How how? How old were you around that time? Were you like still like a kid kid? Yeah, I was like 11-ish, 10-ish, oh, wow. you know, so. Okay, okay. Wow, that was really young. But I mean, like, catch them young, am I right? Yeah, but I know I had elder siblings, so they already started to write music. Yeah, so, so it made sense. I just, you know, tried to keep up with them and all of that. Mm, okay, fair enough. That's really cool. That's really cool. And before we get into the questions, I just want to know, who were you listening to around that time? Like, who was the the artist that you know you used to jam up to back in the day that you would say sort of influenced yeah. your sound in a way? 
I really used to love Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Yeah. I used to love Fifty Cent. You know. Okay. There was Nigerian rappers too. You know, people like um, people like Negaro. Mm. You understand? Those were rappers I actually really, you know, loved Going their sound. To, yeah. and, you know, try to, try to. I won't really say imitate. Yeah, their but their flow will kind of stick. Yeah. 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 yeah it kind of, kind of caught on to that, and I, you know, really love those artists. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. So, what would you do? If you knew you would go blind in three months, is there something in particular that you would like to see in the world, in a person, on a book? That if you mm. found out that in three months you want to go blind, what are you going to just three set months. up and go see? Yeah. Like you have three months to use your eyes with. What are the mm. things? Like, what's that one thing? Just, I probably want to travel a little more, you know? Mm, yeah. See a whole lot more places, you know? Taking some people's faces a lot more, mm, you understand? Yeah, like just taking it in, like. Yeah, mm. you know, look at my family a lot more, taking their faces, make sure I don't forget. Oh, yeah. um, so that's so probably cute. Probably what I do with it. That's so cute. Okay. What would you do if you could improve one aspect of yourself, but you had to reduce another by the same amount? If I could improve one aspect of yeah, myself. Yeah, but then you have to reduce another by the same amount. So if you increase your writing abilities, you have to something else by the same amount. I actually do wish sometimes I could dance. You know? that's, really? one thing, that's one thing I can do. <laughs> what kind of dance? Leg work bear or you want to be any type. I can't dance at all. Like, <laughs> oh my god, I'm so you don't really have like rhythm with your dancer. body, you're just always feeling bad guy. No, no, you can't no, dance. actually you know, I actually dance but I end up dancing rubbish. You oh, understand? Okay, I don't okay. I don't care, you know, I just <laughs> you know dance but I really wish I could, you know, yeah. dance a lot more and could reduce one other aspect you've increased dance by 50 percent or you have reduced another thing by 50 percent mm. probably probably music production mm, you know, i'm making something i do but it's not something it's not something yeah it's not really something i need to do you know? yeah okay so you produce your own music and stuff not particularly but i co-produce most of my music but i always have other producers with me because okay. it's not really my strong point you understand? Yeah, so i still work with other producers fair enough fair enough fair enough so imagine like five years from now you're you're crying the rapper you know that guy you still are right now but yeah. imagine who you see yourself in five years what do you want to be different about yourself probably my Probably my temper. Mm, you the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ain't got yeah, most times, and it's something I'm trying to work on. You know. Yeah. Mm. What was the what's like? <laughs> what's the craziest thing you've ever done angry? Like, mm. cause somebody pissed you off, or somebody took the piss, and you were like so mad. Have you like broken a cup before? Yeah, I break things, I like, punch things. You know, but Crazy. it's not something I'm proud, proud of. of yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's something I like to, you know, work on. Yeah. You know. okay going professionally there's a lot of things you have to you know yeah that you have to just let it slide you Mm -hmm. understand there's fans that'll piss you off there's promoters that'll piss you off Mm -hmm. and you can't go about you know punching Punching everybody you see you understand so it's something i'm trying to work on that's that's cool that's cool i feel like a therapist (laughs) 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 okay all right all right right. let's do this let's get it a little bit a little bit more creepy Mm. <laughs> is that the word to okay. use? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're walking through the woods, right? When you come across a black suitcase, kind of like the one your brother came in with. Oh wow, look at his shoes! They're so cool. Wow, I wish I could rock some shoes. You know, I'm quite boring. I digress. Oh, yeah, you look nice. Yeah, look nice. But look at his shoes. Like I don't look like. You know what I mean? Like, damn. I'm so sorry you distracted me. But put that. Can we see his shoes? Can we just see his shoes real quick? <laughs> you want to mess up his teeth? Got it. <laughs> All right. Um, you're walking through the woods when you come across a black suitcase. It contains a million dollars and a blood-stained piece of paper with the word "don't" written on it. Will you take the suitcase home or would you leave it? Hmm. I probably wouldn't. You won't take it home with you, right? I mean, the fact that it's a bloodstained warning on it. Yeah, it just uh, says don't. It doesn't say anything. It could be like, don't spend it on stupid things. It could be any don't. It could be, it could be don't carry it like that. Carry it like this. It'd be a tough choice, but 
Yeah, you don't want to just risk it. Present mindset, I probably wouldn't. Me, yeah, I do believe in juju. juju. Ah, I'm a very spiritual person. I, yeah. I know all those things exist. I believe yeah. in God, but I know that there's a whole yeah, lot of whole, whole other lot. gods and there's a whole lot of other spiritual things going on. So mm. I probably wouldn't. You know. mm. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. If you could change one thing about the Nigerian music industry, what would you change and why? Probably gatekeeping. There's a whole lot of gatekeeping mm. in our industry. How so? There's a lot of people, you know, sitting on certain opportunities or certain, you know, certain, certain offices that make it harder for younger artists to, you know, get to where they're meant to be. You know, it's mm. just, in this industry, it's not really about talent anymore. Yeah, yeah. it's more about who you know and yeah, who. Yeah, you get so it's something I'd really love to change. You know, we really love to actually seek out talented artists and help them. You know, without actually requiring anything from them you understand because talent used to be the only requirement before, yeah, before but now yeah. there's a whole lot of other things you need to have or you need to know or you need to do before you can get there and it's you know, I mean, something i love to change you're an independent artist have you had like any specific experience regarding that not particularly but you know i've i've had it it's, it's been a whole lot harder for me you mm. know, being independent at the time i felt like you know um, it's talent, you know, at some point you get discovered at some mm, point, you mm. know. But I found that yeah, it's not really like that, you understand? Eh, people don't care, yeah? you sat here and now for your pocket, you I'm understand? Nobody, you. nobody really cares anymore. So it's actually... It's now it has even become people, a game you know, of numbers, even. Yeah, it's about who you know, you know, the amount of money you're willing to spend, exactly. you understand? So that's really what, it, what yeah. it is right now, and it shouldn't be like that. Mm, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, what would be the first thing you would do if? You know, that's just this is just such a random switch. But what would be the first thing you do if time machines existed? Like, I actually don't feel like I have anything to change. In the past, in the future, you might not necessarily change anything, but you might do something with the fact that you have a time machine. Yeah, I'm a very curious person, though. I might want to, you know look into the future you know mm. see some things mm. know, some things you know be very Girl prepared for some things but right. yeah, as far as the past no but as far as the future yeah i want to know oh my god i'm gonna know what it looks like your future other people's future you know is it mine, like that no. you know, mine, i'm not that crazy just mine. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest i would i would not mind going to the past too i'm gonna win so much arguments like <laughs> I would see what happens to the dinosaurs for real. And I'm going to tell yeah. you that ABCDEF is actually G. You That's know? <laughs> so what would you... Um, would you go three months without shaving, brushing your teeth, or using deodorant for $55,000? Three months. Mm. Um, it's too small for mm. that. You know, that's... <laughs> I think must I have a whole lot of other problems that I need more yeah. like that to solve. You understand? Yeah. So, I mean, if they opt it, I might consider it. Mm-hmm. But, uh, mm-hmm. Okay, so how much that. higher could it be for you to do it? Yeah, it's about 500k. Yeah, then, 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 <laughs> then, <laughs> then we can think about it. Interesting. <laughs> 500k. <sighs> Got to shave, brush up teeth. You just do it hurt. So you can shower. Hey. You can shower, so that's 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 the upside. All right, what would you do if um, <laughs> what did you do? Because this is not what would you do. What did you do in high school when a classmate right should ask you for an answer to a question during an exam and the teacher wasn't looking? Are you well, the I'll guy? Tell that? Him, most of them, even the one asking for the answers. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I would tell him. You know? I'm screaming. <laughs> <laughs> you know one of those gatekeepers. You always hate that gatekeeping, aren't you? <laughs> no, I don't like those kind of students, you know, that want oh, mm. to face them. Uh, tell me something. Yeah. Because there's actually people that used to cover it and write. Where are you? That thing used to piss me off. Like, come on. Open up. Yeah, yeah. I'm a sinner. What's wrong with you? Help somebody out. Shout out to that baby. She be in what, um, what's the name of right? Is it Neko? You were covering your Yoruba scripts. You see, now I speak Yoruba, <laughs> not even fluently, and it doesn't matter, huh? <laughs> you see? Real life. Damn. This is the covering. It's like, no, no. We go, go, no. I'm not going to tell you. Uh, How are you now? <laughs> All right. Um, what would be the first rule you would make if you were the emperor of the earth? Of the whole earth? Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah, I wouldn't chamber of the earth everywhere. Huh. 
think about that. I don't want to make a stupid rule. Mm. <laughs> Everything free for women and kids. But probably, probably everybody has to, you know, make it where everybody should worship God, you know. Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, just like how you know, Nebuchadnezzar made it in the time of Daniel, do you understand? That? Okay, mm. now everybody has to worship this God, do you understand? So mm. I'll probably do that because, you know, I'm really strong on religion. Mm, okay. I'm with that. I'm with that. I'll probably do that too. Probably that. Flog. Okay. Well, if I was the emperor of the earth, I would probably do that. But let me not steal your answer. I think I'm going to make stuff free. Because, like, we're the only animals I have to pay to live here. Why are we paying to live here? Ants don't pay for rent. Why should I? You know? So, yeah. Everything should be free. Water should be free too. As well as food. It's literally supposed to be free. Who put. It's like putting tax <laughs> on beaches. I still don't get that. It's yeah, supposed it's to be free. free yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, maybe I'm gonna tax my presence, but apart from that, <laughs> like, everything should be free. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna go on a quick break. When I come back, I'm going to be asking crime some never have I ever questions that he has to be honest about. <laughs> guys welcome to Claire's Day. all right and we're back and i'm still chilling with crime as you know how are you feeling i'm good are you having a good time yeah you I'm know good. you're having a good time i can tell yeah i'm having a good time too i brought the bat it's back yeah hi the bat of honesty and the bat of um <clears throat> wisdom i think i don't know anyways so basically if you have you show me that you have if you have not you should be your ew this bat is crusty all right never have i ever found a dumb excuse to text an ex mm. if not I was so, I was so you don't text your exes uh. hey, strong man why come on don't you want to be toxic a little bit devil in the past dip your toes in the waters a little bit i don't forget why i ended in the first place so i don't try to i don't try to go back you forget why e- I do not forget why. Oh, okay, okay, okay yeah. So you just yeah. let the X stay the X. Mm-hmm. Man, the strong man, very stern is in his decision. <laughs> so not looking back, but your exes try to spin a block though. Oh, a couple times. Yeah, uh, you're like, yeah. I'm in kitchen now. Love that. Actually, <laughs> yeah, love that. Never have I ever had a totally online relationship. No, oh, I definitely have. Yeah. Probably when I was younger, yeah. Yeah, that was the love of your life, wasn't it? Mm, I could say that, but you know, it's totally online because we never ever saw it. Yeah, first, first, first. So, I yeah. feel like most people have had that, especially in the social media age, and if you were uh, like a kid around that time. Yeah. That's so crazy. Um, never have I ever flirted just to get something I wanted. Hey, hey. You know they use your pretty privilege. Hey boy, tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> How can you tell me? You're not? So don't you get free stuff? You don't go out and get free stuff? Yeah, but I won't really call it flat. No, no, no. Like I know, it. I know. But I, I just really want to know. Do you go out and get free stuff? Like, oh, oh my yeah, god, definitely. he's so pretty. Give him that. Yeah, definitely. What? But yeah. So now imagine if you had a sprinkle of flirting. Like, what's going on with you, Shorty? Uh, if you live there with bears. <laughs> just saying it's a strategy think about it yeah I'll think about it never have I ever been caught lying oh I definitely have been caught lying mm-hmm. uh, many times oh my god how do you not spin it huh? do it's you guess so, like or you be like just oh, tell the truth oh, yeah, you don't catch me, don't catch me. yeah so I'm right, just tell the truth yeah some people are just gonna be like what your eyes are deceiving you <laughs> <laughs> okay Never have I ever fallen in love with someone without really knowing them, like love at first sight type stuff. I mean, apart oh. from me, of course. Yeah, I mean, I've made a mistake yeah. many times. Yeah. Okay, how did I, how did you believe at love at first in love at first sight? Oh yeah, it's always love at first sight with me. You know, I see somebody and I love you really. No, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder I don't spin the block. You're too busy right now. Mm, not really. I just have strong decision making. Okay, you're very solid just streaming. Oh my god, we're opposites. Like, if you go out with me and I have to pick something from the menu, 
hectic even for me too i just have to be like recommend at the end of the day but i, I like that you're a good decision maker because i wish i was that as well can't lie um never have i ever seriously thought about marrying someone oh i think i have really mm-hmm. why didn't you marry it didn't, it didn't work out you don't really know someone until you, you know, start to live with them, you know, start to... Okay, you guys got to the living together state. Yeah, and, you know, start to discover things you didn't know originally, and mm-hmm. you wonder, can I actually live Spend the rest of my life with this person, person yeah. you understand? So, yeah, I so, have thought about it, but mm. I didn't move forward with it. So, do you have, like, a major deal-breaker in relationships? Not particularly, no, but, you know, there's some things I just can't, you know... Handle? Yeah. Like what? Uh, this loyalty. Mm. Yeah, so it's loyalty. There's loyalty right now. People yeah. expect you to, you know, just look past it. You yeah, know, yeah, I yeah, get that. I get that. I, really I get that. I get that. All right. Before we get into your music, never have I ever sent a racy text to the wrong person. By racy, what do you mean? Like a scandalous, flirty, wrong, naked, maybe. To the wrong person. person. Nah, it's always to the right person. (laughs) (laughs) I know who I'm sending my shit to. Yeah, it's always to the right person. I I love that. that. Okay, never have I ever said I love you but didn't mean it. Hmm. I always mean it. Mm. I I always think I mean it. Just that to be here. You always think you mean it. So technically, maybe after you don't talk, I'm like three minutes later. Yeah, it's that reason. So, was that really yeah, well, 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 yeah, well, yeah. But at the moment, yeah, I did mean it. That's not on you. Yeah. Fair enough. Never have I ever had to work with somebody I did not like. Oh, I have worked with a lot of people I didn't like. I, how did you navigate that? I was trying not to look at their face. You just do what you have done. Get out. <laughs> Can we really stand you right now? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so speaking about working with people, you worked on Lawless with Magneto, real quick. Yeah. You worked on Lawless with Magneto. How did that collaboration happen? Oh, well, at the time, we we had the same producer. Okay. The producer I was using, I used for my previous work and all of that was Magneto's producer at the mm. time. So he sort of you know worked it out you know told me he has this guy he wants to work with him so yeah he just linked up you know made it happen it wasn't it, it wasn't, wasn't really long, hectic yeah. Yeah, yeah it wasn't hectic no i, I love my it's such a such a cool person yeah, he's you know. a calm guy yeah. seems like a calm guy very so in um what's it called if you weren't singing right now let's say you were not a rapper or something what would you be doing I read political science in school, mm. so I actually, actually might be involved in politics. Mm. Actually, might be involved in. So, do you think you'd be like a stern politician or that nice guy? Mm. Probably, probably a nice guy. Yeah, yeah I probably think want you to, probably want to exert change, you know. Mm. So you have an album coming. You told me about that. Yes. When's it dropping? Uh, hopefully next month. You know the album is ready. I'm just trying to put you know promotion together. Mm, okay. You know, okay. Drop okay. it with the right steam. Do you have you given out the name of the album yet? Yes, actually, it's called Most Wanted. Most Wanted. Huh? Most Wanted Cry. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, so is it like it. a debut album? Yes, that's my first I album. I love that episode today. It's his debut album, guys. Wow. I love it. I love it. How many songs? How many features? Do you have any features on it? I know I'm... I have a whole lot of features on it. Mm. It's 20 songs, actually. Nice. Um, I have features. I have Magneto on it on two songs, actually. Mm. I have Psycho IP as well. I have on two songs as well. Mm. I have Dandizi on one of them. Oh, um, and I have I have Hot Kid on one of them too. He's okay. a really close friend of mine. And okay. I love his music. I love yeah. his style. So yeah. then I have I think I have Fresh School on it too. Oh, Fresh School is really good. Yeah, I love, the I love his school. music so much. And, yeah, you know, we've been friends for a long time. So we actually worked on the song about two years ago. Is it okay? So yeah, that's nice. That's nice. So what inspired the name Most Wanted? Is it because your name is Cry? 
Yes, I'm just trying to, you know, stick with the brand. Yeah, you know? uh, it's so, it's so, it's so crazy because when you hear crime and yes, something is wanted, you expect it to maybe come in with like dreads and like tats and like talk like this. Yeah. And then like, yeah, I'm like, oh. but he looks like he, he looks like he can live his ki- your kid in his house. You know, and your kid will probably eat well. Mm-hmm. It's really good. I look like a criminal. I'm happy about that for you. <laughs> so. Um, should we expect any videos from you, 2024? Yes. I mean, there's a video for the one with Magneto, is Yes, I just shot a video with Magneto last month. I haven't released it yet. I'm trying to release it when the album comes out. Lovely. Lovely. I'm, really I'm excited. I'm excited for you. Trust me, I am. What do you think we should like look forward in the next 2024 from Cryo? Especially if they're... Especially if you're just, you know, catching him for the very first time ever in your life. Well, first of all, the album, but that might not be the only project that might mm. be releasing. Oh, okay. Love this it. Year, so Love I it. might have a lot of projects. The freestyles, too. I did a couple radio freestyles. Yeah. I did two recent radio freestyles I haven't released yet. So, yeah. I'm excited about that. Yes, I Yeah, you're really, really do proper. Thank you so much for pulling up on my deck. Not if anybody much. wants to find you online, what's, what's your handle? Crime on the mind, baby. It's Literally, it has baby on it? Yeah, it has baby. Okay, because I was like, why are you calling me baby? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it has baby on okay, it. Okay, so K-R-Y-M-E on the mind, baby. O-N-T-H-E-M-I-C-B-A-B-Y. See that girl is doing... <laughs> girl, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm so nice hanging with you, and thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I'm Claire with a K. If you want to catch me off your screen with the line, just in case you miss me too much, K L A I R E O N Y E K A is the handle. And this is Pop Central, because this is Pop Central. Okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs>